السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. دكتور عبد العزيز، هل يو هير؟ السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته يا هاي يا بلا شو دي ستارت؟ اوكي how many people inside here <laughs> in this okay, building take your time We give another five minutes. Uh, five minutes? Yeah. Okay. Because it's only 4.58 now. سعيا لخدمة طلبة العلم والارتقاء بمستوياتهم يسر نادي الاقتصاد الإسلامي الإعلان عن منصة مدارج لإصدار الشهادات بوابة خاصة لكل طالب إمكانية التحقق من مصداقية الشهادات إمكانية تغيير الإسم كيف تعمل المنصة بعد حضورك إحدى المحاضرات التابعة لنادي الاقتصاد الإسلامي يقوم النادي بإنشاء حساب شخصي لك ثم تصلك رسالة إلكترونية عبر البريد تحتوي على رابط المنصة اسم المستخدم كلمة المرور قم بالضغط على رابط المنصة ثم أدخل اسم المستخدم كما هو موضح في الرسالة وأيضا كلمة المرور ثالثا اضغط على شهاداتي بعد الدخول إلى لوحة التحكم الخاصة بك قم بالضغط على شهاداتي هنا سوف تظهر لك جميع الشهادات الخاصة بك بإمكانك الضغط على تحميل لتحميل الشهادة كما يمكنك تعديل الاسم بالضغط على تعديل الاسم الكامل وكتابة الاسم الصحيح انتبه يسمح لك بتعديل الاسم الكامل مرة واحدة فقط الرجاء التأكد من كتابة الاسم الصحيح بعد ذلك قم بالضغط على حفظ كما يمكنك تعديل كلمة المرور وإدخال كلمة مرور قوية تم تسجيلك في منصة الشهادات بنجاح مرحبا وأهلا بك في منصة مدارج الخاصة بشهاداتك في نادي الاقتصاد الإسلامي شارك الآن وارتق معنا بسلم عضويات النادي نادي الاقتصاد الإسلامي التأصيل والتميز
that is that now? Yes, doctor, we can start. You can share your presentation. You may you want me to present the slides? Yes. Okay. Your voice is clear and your uh, picture. Let me open the slide first. Is it okay? Uh, okay. Can you see, brother? Yes, uh, you can uh, full screen your presentation. No, is it? I mean, can you see my slide? Yes. Okay, so. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikum salam. My brothers, uh, will be uh, University of Kuwait, is it? Yes, doctor. You can start. Yeah. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. My name is uh, Dr. Zul from the International Islamic University. <coughs> uh, the topic that I would like to present to you today is this. Uh, a uh, very current topic, circular economy and effects on investment. Right? So I think we could have participated in this uh, sustainability issues. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, we're going to discuss today. <clears throat> so this is my presentation outline. Uh, first, we have to distinguish the difference between uh, a linear and circular economy. Okay, because this is the thing that makes the difference or how this thing works, all right? Then I will try and define this uh, sustainability and move on to the investment. So investment is called ESG investment. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we, we discussed the various type of investment and the conclusion. Now, circular economy is getting very important. You know, every other day in Malaysia, in all over the world, we are talking about uh, sustainability economy. And sustainability economy can only exist in a circular economy because if it is in a linear economy, then we are coming back to the old system whereby we uh, just build uh, and uh, design and then we throw. All, all the things that we have uh, in terms of, for example, like food stuff, okay? Uh, that's why in the end, we end up having uh, a lot of issues eh, regarding environment on, for example, plastic uh, being strewn away, and then we have pollution, and sometimes it's pitiful if you see the, the sea, there are also uh, uh, sea animals getting affected, by, you know? Turtles, they get entangled with the uh, plastic. And this is so pitiful. So, the United Nations has come out with this so called sustainable goals, yeah, which I'm going to explain later. But let me try to explain what this is uh, circular economy first. So, basically, it identifies and eliminates harmful economic activities. Right? For example, like issues, as I mentioned, ecological issues, health issues. Recently, we just had the issue regarding this uh, COVID. So some health issues is also involved of, of how we don't maintain our hands, clean hands, okay, and physical contacts. And all this related to uh, this issue of sustainability. And of course, we talk, uh, we will discuss some more on this greenhouse issue regarding this uh, global warming eh, or CO2 issues. And we are talking nowadays that uh, we're going to have this car, huh? replacing car, electric car, vehicles, no? are going to take over these uh, fossil cars. Huh? Fossil cars are actually the, what do you call it, the, the 
the car we using gas right? and then in so doing uh, we have to redesign the whole thing that we're going to do when i do it uh, the way we structure our products the way we market our product the way to you educate people are all going to be different because uh, there's a lot of wastage all right I will share with you later. There are actually 17 SDG goals. Huh? There are a lot of wastages uh, that's, uh, that's happened. So we need to address this issue. Okay. All right. So how, how do you differentiate this, this thing? Huh? How do you differentiate this uh, linear and circular? All right. So it's very important to appreciate huh? the linear and circular is that uh, in the circular economy, in the linear economy, as mentioned just now, uh, we just make things, uh, take, make, and dispose. Okay, uh, We never have consideration of how we're going to use the products. In other words, we don't think that this, for example, like a plastic can be recycled, for example. Or if you have bags, eh? for example, like women, uh, what I mean here is shopping bags, or even like we go to supermarket, we just buy and throw. Okay, so in other words, uh, we have to change our mind, our behavior. That is why this thing is also somewhat related to behavior issues. <clears throat> and the focus uh, is more on effectiveness, not on efficiency. That's why we will see under linear uh, what we are having here is all just making profit. Yeah, I'm sorry to say. I'm not against making profit. I'm fine, okay with that. But the problem is when you think about just uh, make a uh, take make, and dispose, eh? uh, we don't have uh, anything of uh, thinking about the people. You know, we are only taking making money. Okay, this is that is why uh, sustainable economy and you talk about circular economy is actually uh, in line with the uh, Makasi Sharia. Okay, uh, this is something that. I uh, also like later on to do some research with uh, some quick university. Eh? Uh, we are interested because it's in line with Islam. So I, that's why I like this circular economy because it is uh, very Islamic in nature. <clears throat> and then, of course, there are other, other benchmarks, for example, like uh, system boundaries. Eh? We talk about short term and then uh, circular, we talk more about the long term and multiple cycles so you can see that you know there is a some kind of can see some kind of a planning in uh, one of the countries i think it is in sweden or in uh, one of the different countries the factory yeah the, the factory that they used to to manufacture recycle plastic all is is actually beside the sea you know beside the sea you know? so so when they take out the plastic Okay, and then they start to take up all these uh, issues on the what do you call it uh, thing that has been thrown. They immediately take it uh, and uh, they, they they process. You know, there's a video on that. Okay, maybe you can you can later on find it yourself. Okay, <clears throat> and then for linear economy, uh, they downcycle things. You no, know? downcycle things they take and throw, press. Whereas for the circular, so the circular economy, they upscale it. So in other words, these products that they plan is they use it uh, to make new products, or they re, or they recycle it, or they reuse it. So there's uh, some some element of cost saving there. For example, like batteries. Okay, you know the our use this handphone, the, the the lithium battery can be recycled. Uh, like I said, bag papers. Okay. So in other words, there's more uh, what do you call that uh, more economic more economical use of the raw materials. Okay, <clears throat> okay I have a small diagram here to share with you. Uh, maybe this diagram can tell us a bit more about this circular and linear economy. All right. the circular economy uh, take, make, and dispose as I mentioned. Okay? step and plan so the raw materials collected uh, is uh, transformed and then the value is created uh, producing cell okay this is what we said but 
under the circular economy, you follow the three R principles. Okay? Reduce, resource, and minimize. Okay? This is what uh, the, the three R is all about. Reduce, uh, resource, and minimize. So basically, this is what the concept of recycling. Okay, let me try and define. Okay, let me try and define what sustainability is first. All right. So sustainability is a very big issue, as I mentioned. As you are, I think, very aware. If you're not, you're not aware by now if something is wrong. But uh, to share with you, uh, Indonesia, all right, they are so advanced in their sustainability, what do you call that, research. Huh? They already have the six sustainability issues uh, research already done. Huh? Malaysia, I'm not so sure Malaysia is very advanced in this, but we are just beginning to learn. And it's high time huh? after this uh, after this program, you should study more on this. Huh? So sustainability means it's not, it's, it's actually, it's the whole life, you know, it's uh, concerning what we, we do every day. Uh, we do what we do. For example, I, after this, I'm going to the shop, you know, I don't have any bag. If I don't have any bag, the, the, the supermarket will charge me maybe 20 cents, but still I have to pay. So it's not part of our life. The problem is when you don't do that, we tend to be keep on doing doing all this, you know, waste this, waste this, waste this, waste this. So this is not good. Okay. And we are going against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, as to us as the vice grand, right? As the vice grand of the world, we should do the good things, right? Good things and not to be uh, do bad things to the, to the world it means uh, doing, doing pollution things eh? this is not good right. so the basic step of sustainability actually uh, you can define there are three of it okay. so this is uh, def when, uh, using the Bruton report 18, 1887 so number one the characteristic that you should have is living with certain limits of earth capacity this is what i'm trying to say just now okay we are as a vice grand uh, uh, of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a khalifa clearly mentioned in abakara okay we should not exploit okay we should not exploit the world okay you should have respect and what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us yeah, as human you must do this right and uh, there are three factors that affect uh, the sustainability, which is the economy, social, and the environment. Okay. These three things are the major things, major things eh, that we have to to follow. Eh? Uh, and I will show you uh, the ayat Quran, you know, that that states this. Eh? Uh, why we should obey? <clears throat> and as I mentioned just now, the distribution process. So in a, in a linear economy, it's very hard to be fair because if you are making profit all the time, how are you going to be fair, right? But in the, in the case of a circular sustainable economy, your distribution will be fair. You think about the poor, okay? Uh, because we, we, we very stop of products when you think the costing and all those, it should be more workable. It be more, more workable if you think about sustainability and circular economy, right? So it is uh, defined, right? In the Borden report that development that meets uh, the needs and present without compromising the ability of future generation. So future generation here also means uh, one of the principles of the makasi, okay? which is posterity, right? So we know there are five elements of the makasi sharia. Number one is, of course, the religion. Number two is life. Uh, number three is, of course, the uh, intellect, right? We are here to study, to discuss. Uh, number four is, I've mentioned posterity. So there is a chance, if we look at uh, sustainability, uh, that our future generation will be taken care of. Okay, uh, This is what I, I like about this. And the last one is, of course, wealth. Wealth, of course, is a very means of getting money. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
this is the example as, I, as you can see what I'm trying to say. <laughs> just now, let's take a look. Eh? All the 12, uh, all, this is actually I'm talking about SDG 12. Look, look eh? all the plastic contract all being thrown out. I don't know whatever things you see here. But this, uh, what is polystyrene? Eh? Polystyrene is out here. Then uh, we have a lot of sort of pay trees and whatnot. And in Malaysia, uh, I'm sure it may be included also for the open house, uh, Ramadan, and also during the what do you call it? Idi Adha, we have open house. Okay, no problem. Uh, Rahim, all very good. But in the end, is just take a look what happened to the foods. Food will be thrown away inside here. It's not all, no. It's still half. <laughs> So much so that it's going to result with a lot of problems. Okay? So for, only for one thing, we are focusing SDG 12. Right? There are, as I go along, after, there are actually 17 SDG. All right. uh, 12 is important to the community. And just take a look, we'll talk more about hydropower later on. That's a good example. We have in Europe, how they maintain sustainability of energy. And these figures I just checked in the Malaysian paper today is true. Malaysian produce 15,000 tons of food every day and has been just thrown out. This is like a small figure. Right? But if you talk about daily, you have to multiply this by 30. <laughs> All right? So you end up with what? 100,000 being thrown away. Okay? At the amount of 2,700 per year. But it's very small. I think there will be more and more. This is really a, co a consumption here, brother and sister, yeah, for this. But you talk about factories, eh? throwing, uh, producing all those things. Eh? It's been thrown away out. Uh, and in Malaysia, we have problems of uh, pollution, okay? When they have all this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, their river. Yeah? When we make, uh, this one case in Malaysia, uh, and for, uh, for like a factory, eh? yeah, all the oil eh, be thrown you know, inside the river. So in, in the end, sometimes we end up with a problem whereby you know, uh, we can't use the river. All right? When you can see where it's going to cut our water. And several times in Malaysia, this has happened. Okay? For nothing, we don't have to supply water. Why? Because the polluted, polluted water has gone to inside the uh, them okay so this is our problem all right <clears throat> this is very interesting all right uh, again this is still we're talking about the conventional stg there are three areas here okay uh, we just take these three areas but these three areas or the one that is more concerned of the sustainable okay? so we talk about the people all right uh, this is life huh? People, we talk about life, we talk about the planet. The planet here is about the environment. All right. And then we talk about profit. Okay. Now, as far as profit is concerned, uh, Islam has nothing to do with uh, not make, making profit. The only problem is we should avoid riba. All right. Uh, so, this can we can discuss one day on riba. <laughs> okay. But here, profit here means not equal profit, too much uh, profit. Uh, that is not been fair, fairly an uh, interest-based profit. Okay? So, uh, what, 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 what do you want actually? We want here this, this middle, this middle here, where, where it's sustainable, where it's bearable. Okay, there's another word to use it, or where it is equitable, where it is viable. Okay, so here, in which actually is still in the conventional. Uh, uh, we further explain as is mentioned just now. There are seventeen of these goals, yeah, seventeen of these goals, uh, in the United Nations, and you can see actually it's just right below here. Huh? You can see all the seventeen goals here. All right, which no prof, uh, no poverty goal one, uh, no hunger goal two, good life so on and so forth. So you can see later on we will discuss all this. And they put it under groups. Okay, for example, we talk about uh, social, 
yes we talk about no no poverty zero hunger okay. then we talk about uh, economy yes we reduce example number eight decent and economic growth okay then we talk about the environment so on and so forth all right <clears throat> let's try and define what you mean by sustainable from the islamic perspective okay so we can relate here ayat quran uh, hadith and the point i'm trying to say here actually is that sustainable is not actually what we learn from the west okay the west always always ahead of us but they look at quran and hadith and they tell us actually what we're supposed to do uh, this i think i think a bit ridiculous eh? They are telling things that is in our Quran and Hadith, and we believe them. Okay, but in actual fact, if we look from the definition of sustainable, right, Al Muk, okay, sixty-seven fifteen has clearly said that if it is He who made the earth tame for you, so walk among its slope and its provision, and to Him is seraction. All right. So there's many ayat ayat Quran. Okay, that has clearly mentioned about sustainability, and our beloved uh, Imam Al Ghazali also mentioned, man no doubt is compelled by three things, which is nourishment, bread, a home, and a cloth. So all this, if we look, these are the essential uh, items of the Makasib Ashari. This is all the mentioned this and if you look uh, and study uh, and do a bit of research, you will find out there are many, many uh, verses or many, many narratives that support uh, environmental okay, based on Islam. Okay. Uh, arching principle, for example, there is no damage, you no know, affliction of damage. Right? And these are supporting a Quran versus it, uh, Surah. 853 uh, there is this is so Allah will never change a grace which he has bestowed on a people until they change what is in them ourselves okay so what does it mean it means that we are the has the vice current of Allah must obey all right what is actually happening to the world all right if not we don't uh, follow the ayah Quran and the, and the principle of what is stated in Islam. Okay, so these are the uh, uh, ways uh, that we should follow. For example, like wakaf, zakat. Uh, these are the. <coughs> and uh, you can see, yeah, brother and sister here. There are so many ayat uh, Quran that supports. Okay, for example, Al Araf, uh, seven thirty one, eat and drink, but waste not by excess. As he love not the excessive. Okay, it's a prison here. And the prophet also, our prophet has mentioned, eh? do not waste. Okay, do not waste water. Now water become a sustainable uh, issue. Okay, even in Europe. Okay, uh, you have to be make sure that you cater for water. Water is essential. Eh? One of the things that cannot be just thrown away like this. Okay, if you can make a summary uh, of the relationship between secularity and sustainability, you find out that actually secularity contributes to the sustainable world. <coughs> Why not linear? Okay, linear just make profit only. All right, so they don't care so much about the distribution. If, if they care, they make profit first. All right, that is why now you can see that uh, uh, it's a rule right? under this. Uh, for example, like Malaysia, I'm sure in Kuwait too, you have to abide to certain CO2 level, okay? Global warming, all right? You have to uh, maintain a certain amount of CO2, CO2 level. And it's required. I think Malaysia is already one year behind something. All right? Why? We don't, dis we don't discipline ourselves. We think the sustainability is not very important. Okay? This is the point that we as academician, we have to do research, we have to explain to people. All right? So, in summary, we can see that yeah, whatever I said just now, SDG 6, for example, clean water, right? SDG 7, affordable clean energy. So, these are the issues we support uh, sustainability, right? 
So what I'm trying to do here is to return here. I'm trying to relate a little bit with uh, what is in the SDG. This is the one I mentioned just now. People, planet, prosperity. And we want to compare this. How is it in line with Amakrasi uh, Sharia? Okay. So peace, for example, okay, is Al-Nafs life. Yeah? Life is one of the principles of Makassid, Okay, And then people. People, I mentioned just now, is the intellect. Okay, Again, this is what Al-Ghazali has said. Planet, uh, Al-Nafs, property, Al-Mal, okay? and partnership. So this is, they make a very simple like this, but it, it looks look like all the SDG bases in the West uh, can be related to ayat Quran, okay? For example, like uh, peace, al-Baqarah 227, okay? And then uh, this again, uh, no poverty, no hunger, again, related to al-Baqarah 2164, okay? So I can share you this slide. I think you have the video, you can have a look at it and share. And this is the principle that we said uh, and we are trying to learn it from the West. But very funnily to me, that this is very clearly stated in Al Quran, Al Ambiya 107. Okay. And then this is not something very strange. Okay. We have actually uh, many things is written here. Hmm? But a mercy to the whole universe. Okay. This is our duty to answer this. All right. And this is not something very strange that first time we know about this. Actually, it is in the uh, principles uh, of the Makassid Sharia. <clears throat> so what is allowable? What is allowable actually is the three principles. But before we even know, know about this alternative, we talk only about economy. Now, even if you talk from economy, you only, it's a, you only talk economy from the Western perspective. Essentially, it's not zakat, not takaful. We are talking about 100% interest. Okay? So there's no such thing as this. So when you talk about the sustainability from the Islamic perspective, we talk about economic, but following the Islamic principles, like tzadaka, zakat, okay? Then, uh, of course, we don't have here like uh, uh, wakaf, wakaf here. Okay, but it's mentioned just now. Takaful, okay? This is what they call uh, uh, Islamic insurance, okay? Avoidance of free bar. And then in the social, okay, nowadays, uh, I have a group. I don't know whether you're in this group or not. This we call the International Council of Islamic Finance. If you want, I can send later on the, the decision form. Now we are in that group, we are discussing now, actually, the real uh, finance is social finance, okay? Not so much of uh, Islamic banking. Islamic banking is okay, uh, as long as it's of interest. But banking system, actually, is a system whereby it makes money, okay? Tell me which bank that does not make money. <laughs> which bank that does not make money? No bank that does not make money, isn't it? So, but you talk about social system, it becomes a different thing. All right? We talk about these elements of sakat, wakaf. And as I mentioned just now, it's a, a clearly that mentioned that we have the role as a vice grant. Okay? And we have to take care of brotherhood. Uh, we talk about solidarity. We talk about salat al and all this. Okay? So this part here is the social aspect that we need to address. And also, we talk about environment, okay? We talk about environment. We talk about the concept of halak, halak, okay? And this is very important, yeah? Brothers and sisters, very important. Let's do a bit more research on Mizan. Mizan actually is the central part here, whereby it takes into consideration economy, social, and environment. Al-Mizan, okay? Fairness, all right? Balance, hmm? it's called about balance acceptable of resources. So if we take into consideration all these elements, all right, then it is fair. All right, then this is the real model. This is a real model that we should appreciate. Yeah? Distribution, sustainability, right? Integration and equity. All right, this is so much about the concept, it's no problem. But then the question is, how do we go about financing, okay? 
So we will not talk about makasih syurah. Then we'll say, okay, fine. How am I going to finance? Okay, uh, this part here is where we talk about the ESG. Right? ESG is the economic, social, and environment. Right? So the ESG uh, has a different uh, perspective of how finance is given, right? For the bank, each of the bank now has what we call sustainable sustainable offices. Okay? During I was a banker before. This is my time. There's no such thing as this. Bank one hundred percent will make profit. Okay, but now bank are required. Okay, when they finance big item, for example, like solar, they finance electric vehicles and all this. There's some elements the compliance of sustainability must be there. Okay, why? All right, you ask me why, because it is proven. All right, that we follow the sustainability principles. Right, we have a lower risk. Okay, lower risk, higher return, and more resilience. Yeah, so to crisis, for example, in let's let's just talk about the COVID. Okay, how many uh, business are affected since they don't invest well? In 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 business where where the risk is very high, so they are get affected. So many shop, so so many business are has been closed. They now slowly only going to recover. So in other words, when the bank want to uh, approve uh, ESG loans, right? They look at these three principles now. Okay, positive, negative screening, All right? So, in other words, the 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 the, the, the principle of uh, finance now has changed, eh? not entirely to make money. There are also ethical consideration, right? Ethical consideration. They say this makes things very interesting. You know? For example, like tobacco, you know, tobacco, alcohol, and all this. These are all against Islam, all right? But at one time, the banks are financing all this because they are the one. These are the one that is making money. Okay, now. This now these are different. Okay? Then we talk about impact financing, right? Effect of social environment. We talk about now, for example, uh, we have problem with haze. You know, in Indonesia, one time we heard a lot of this. They burn the what they call that uh, woods uh, because they, you know Indonesia, Indonesia a lot of fallen trees and all. And then the the haze come over to Malaysia, and we found out actually <laughs> the company that is doing this is a Malaysian company. <laughs> Okay, so these are very, very, very funny things eh? when you do this, and then of course they are very big, you know, a big solar are very big, uh, renewable energy is very big, electric cars are very big. They need finance, all right. So the finance naturally it will goes to the bank, all right. So this is the bank we're talking about here. The is the ESG inv uh, investment, all right. Engaging board of directors, all right. That do not meet all this is ECSC criteria, right? And a survey has been done uh, with the asset managers, uh, ESG investment, and they've uh, put that seventy nine percent agreed. Okay, that the ECG investment is an important factor, right? And seventy five percent has agreed that the company should address ESG. So now you can see the fund managers, all right. Uh, the invest, uh, investment managers that are now are concerned. In other words, they are they are agreeable to this methodology now. The question is, why now? <laughs> why now? Why? Why was it before? Before ESG? I mean, you mean to say they they are they know that they be they are financing or the company that is giving the his problem. They are fi financing those uh, wastage. Why? Why are they suddenly realize? Now Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has shown us. Eh, maybe because of the a lot of issues of global warming, we talk even pollution, you know, so many animals in the in the sea that got caught by the plastic and all those then begin to realize. Okay. So this is uh, not all, but broadly you can say this type of ECG investment are divided into, for example, like healthcare. Okay, healthcare. So there is investment, uh, for example, uh, one for example, as you call this, uh, the one that had kidney problem, eh? we have that, uh, that that dialysis machine. Okay? Uh, that is one of the ECG investment that we can. Mental health. 
Okay, you let have a lot of problems here during the COVID situation, eh? the mental health problem. All right, the climate, as I mentioned just now, uh, electric car or EV, eh? electric vehicles, meant to remove the emission or oh, we call it fossil, uh, fossil fuel, eh? CO two, and then we talk about uh, green bonds. Okay, green bonds can also be can also be green sukuk. Okay. Uh, but they are, the whole purpose here is to look at the cleaner uh, uh, energy, renewable energy. All right. Uh, this is talk. Actually, this one is also related. Okay. Definitely, you use solar. You solar is, of course, under the uh, what we call that uh, sustainable uh, renewable energy environment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, after what I've said, these figures is is it surprise to us or not? You look at that, okay. And this is only 2021, eh? 2022. How much is the investment and how much is the potential of this uh, green finance? Uh, we talk about sustainable finance, eh? we talk about all this. How much is it? Iran out to billions, 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 you know, so much money, okay? so much potential in the ESG. You just take a look at that. Eh? Inflow of 125 billion in the opening of three months of the 70% bump. Right? So you just take a look the potentials that we can explore using ESG or sustainability finance. Right? <clears throat> so in Malaysia, this is the true, true result. This uh, in Malaysia we have asset company, right? I'm sure you all also have the uh, wait. Okay, so if you look, these are the investor, eh? Interbank, Pacific Bank. They have investment under sustainable. Okay, so you look here. Huh? They call it social enterprise, right? Uh, and this is quite uh, quite some time already, 2018. Eh? It is called a wholesale fund. Okay, then we have. Uh, ESG Sukuk. Okay, then we have uh, public mutual sustainability. So this is enough to show us it's only time. Bay Bank, as you know, is, is a is a is a big bank, huh? RHP. All right. Then you can see here all this I highlighted in in red. Huh? It's all sustainable. So the, the the trend of investment now are all going towards sustainable finance. Okay. So two more slides before we discuss. That's a conclusion. What can we say from all this? Okay, I can say uh, since I started just now, right? there are many many opportunities, right? That is created from this sustainable future. All right, I just read this article, right? So we talk. It's fair to say that it's sustainable future because this thing is going to change, all right? What is going to change? The three C is going to change, okay? We are talking about reduction now, reduction of food waste. There must be a way how we look and how to eat. Even, you know, uh, we have to look. Of course, now we eat the same way, but, you know, later on, they may impose certain things uh, in our the way we consume uh, 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 things. We're going to be a bit more careful. Water, especially, right? One of the makasit things. You have no how to save water. And then reusable, how do you reuse? Bags. Yeah, bags. When you go to the supermarket, you, you don't buy bring the bags every day. You can use the same bags. Clothing, recycle clothing. All right. Uh, but what is the habit? <laughs> what is the habit? I myself, you know, uh, we have a lot of clothing in the house. Yeah, we don't recycle it. Why, why, why? Why I think it's so sad, so selfish like you should learn, donate to people, <laughs> right? You donate, you get sadaka, you get parlor, right? Recycle, recycle papers, recycle batteries, all right? Uh, this is something that, uh, you know, my my, my student, I, I teach this uh, this this subject. Okay? We, I ask them how to do, even this uh, e-link, uh, e-education, e, e, e Some, somewhise, sometimes it's also sustainable. Probably we're not using extra cost in that, right? <laughs> Renewable energy, uh, this is what I found out, right? What are the renewable energy? The natural ones, of course, the sunlight, right? The sunlight, the solar, the wind and the water, 
You see, these are from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You just imagine that this the trust that Allah has said, but this is not really very popular in our country. I don't know why, but in Europe it become very popular. In Norway, for example, ninety eight percent electricity is from hydro power, followed by Albania, Iceland, okay, Paraguay, one hundred percent, okay. Followed by Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland. So these are very big countries, all right. These are very big countries, and they are actually what they call it a more concerned about. Uh, none of them are Islamic country, but they are more concerned about environment than us. Okay, electric electric vehicles. Okay, the race is just started. They are starting. I just did a Google search. Just now. To address this, I talk about uh, just now green uh, greenhouse effects, okay, carbon dioxide, yeah? because of the burning fossils, and there are already many many com competition now, okay. For example, this brand I also mentioned the country. For example, like Tesla, okay, Tesla US brand, fully electric cars, all right, BMW. In Malaysia, I already saw the advertisement. Nah, BMW and Volkswagen Germany, Nissan, okay, Nissan Japan, Kia Korea and China. Uh, don't forget China. Their their brand is BYD. Eh? They are also very highly advanced on the electric vehicles. Eh? They have a brand uh, in in their factory in Guangzhou. Okay. And they, have, they supply twenty eight percent of the Chinese market. You just take a look, correct or not? Huh? This thing is going to happen inside our eyes. Huh? So all this has led to, uh, because of the enhancements of the technology, right? None of this can happen without technology. So in other words, the country which is in advance. Okay, not necessarily it has to have. Of course, it have had Islamic principle that it should be carried out uh, following the what I mentioned just now, the vice president of Allah SWT. But the technology is very important. We also got to invest. Huh? Kuwait, Malaysia, we have to train our young children, train our new scientists to be very, very advanced in technology. Because without technology, it's not possible for us to do all this, uh, all this solar thing, you know? Not possible right? to do all this recycling thing and all this. No, we don't have that kind of mental health and the mental capability. Okay. <clears throat> so, in conclusion, you can simply say that, right? right yeah? There's a lot of potential here in the circular economy and okay? sustainability. We have provided a word, a very wide opportunities, okay? very wide opportunity to growth of ESG market. And they are called by a slightly different name. Okay, as I mentioned, that's not it's not Islamic banking. Okay, it's not Islamic finance. Also. They call themselves as green finance. <laughs> okay, green finance. I don't know why they call it green. Green uh, maybe because of Islam or what? Okay, this is uh, uh, the brand. But you don't be surprised. Okay, so when we talk about uh, green finance, we talk about resilient finance. Resilient something that you can hand, handle. And you talk about sustainable finance. We're talking about actually sustainability, All right? That 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 basically what we're discussing. Okay, brothers and sisters, I think I end up huh, uh, with uh, thanking you all for listening. And if there's any question, inshallah, I will have and try and answer your question. Okay, brother, thank you so much. Salam alaikum warahmatullah. Is there any question? Yeah, I can see a lot of questions from Prof. Swami. <laughs> yeah, brother, I finish. Hello. Hello, doctor. Yeah. Have you, you you hear me? I've already finished. Yes, right? I hear you. Yes, I. Uh, I'm so looking. How do you want me one, to uh, go to the question? You have question in the box, so what? Uh, I will see Q and A. Yeah, there are a few questions I here already. I saw.
I think uh, there is a lot of uh, question in Q&A. Mashallah, it's uh, all Prof. Fahmi only asking how come. Can you check it? <laughs> no, they can ask. Okay, Prof. Fahmi, I know. Can can we show by, by show of hands and whether Andrew Bila want to ask? No problem. Yeah. I think uh, there is no one. Okay, we have one. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, brother Beng, Beng Hong. Okay, Beng, Beng Hong. Yes. Beng Hong, you can. Uh, yes, your microphone is on. You're from Malaysia, Beng Hong? Uh, yes, I am uh, a Malaysian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. What exactly uh, is your question? Yeah, I, I have uh, two uh, queries. Uh, mm -hmm. to get some uh, guidance. Number one is that of food waste. Mm. Uh, we know that especially during Ramadan, there are plenty <laughs> of uh, wasted food. Correct. In as much as uh, we are unable to immediately change behavior and uh, transform uh, these uh, thrifty mm -hmm. habits into the population, is there any way that other stakeholders in the ecosystem can actually implement some sort of uh, measures, maybe from the restaurant side, maybe from the uh, so-called pricing uh, mechanism, whereby if you do not finish, there is a penalty. And uh, maybe from local council, if you send you know, too much of a waste out of a restaurant, you know, there will be certain so-called imposed in order that the habit change can actually come from the regulatory or the uh, so-called the rule system rather than leaving everything to chance and to human behavior. Question one. <laughs> uh, question two is, we are also saying that the waste can be uh, reused to become resource. So, how then can the society or the government come up with some kind of legislation whereby they can embed this requirement at source, that is, imposed upon the manufacturer that whatever packaging materials or whatever other relevant uh, items used in the entire supply chain of bringing the goods to the end user are being considered in respect of the second life or after use resource recovery. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Brother uh, Beng Ong. Yeah? Uh, you, you mentioned about the waste stage just now, right? Waste stage, uh, are you referring particularly to festival uh, like Hari Raya or nothing like this? Or can be uh, any festival. Well, uh, daily wise, there there are of course uh, wasteful volume, uh, but this mm. volume actually uh, escalated, especially during festive. It it may not be just Ramadan, maybe Chinese New Year, maybe Christmas. <laughs> so mm. instead of uh, broadly <laughs> cover all the areas, maybe the initiative must start from somewhere where the uh, spike is uh, obvious and it is worth the effort and uh, economically uh, viable to take on a special effort to conquer you know, this uh, so-called behavioral problem. Yeah, actually there's two ways of answering your question. Number one, if it is uh, organized by the private sector, for example, like if you do in the house, all right? Um, I mean, we have uh, uh, celebrate uh, Hari Raya and Chinese New Year on, on the private scale. That one, it will be, should be the liability of the owner, isn't it? Because it's a private house, nobody can enter <laughs> except for the owner themselves. But if you do it in a restaurant, you do it at public places, uh, then there's, uh, at least you are subjected to the, what they call the local council, all right? The council will come and look at uh, where the wastage is thrown, and then uh, they they need they have to regulate and how uh, you throw 
what kind of rubbish uh, kind of thing so that one in a way is uh, handled on 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 that basis but on your second question regarding uh, uh, regulators uh, i know that the uh, department of environment that day we had uh, some discussion also when we had uh, some presentation earlier they will impose some fine yeah they impose some fine if you don't follow uh, a, reg uh, a regulated uh, issue regarding uh, uh, keeping the place clean uh, and all this thing you are subject to, to you are subject to fine you know this, uh, this is this is one thing uh, that they are doing but after saying that uh, it's also not very <laughs> easy to do this because it's behavioral thing is like more towards your own individual uh, habits you know and this is why i said uh, this type of forum uh, this type of discussion topic is very good because uh, I think it's quite difficult to change habit. No, uh, Mr. Bang Ong, I think so. <laughs> Even you, if it is like a train, for example, like in, in Japan, you know, they train their student when they are very young to be clean, you know. Uh, we've seen videos also that they, 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 are, they, they are trained to clean toilet. And so this, this is a very cultural thing. But uh, for us, uh, you know, it's very difficult for us to say we don't train our children to do that. Uh, but uh, I think this is a very tough thing. What from my, my, my reading is that this is only beginning to start. Just this morning only I saw, I think you know, in the star, okay, there's a, there's one effort there treating building sustainability, some talk only beginning to start about circular economy. This is a very big thing. And you can imagine, you know, for example, like, you know very well in Malaysia, right? Some 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 company just uh, do not take care of the environment. Uh, one, you know, few of the factories just thrown away their, uh, you know, things inside the river is affecting everybody. So what do they do? I do not know whether if the fine is uh, is tough enough for them not not to do again. But it seems that it's keeping re re uh, it's repeated, you know. So I also express my sorrow here, but I think the government got to really step up, you know, regulate all this, and and make sure that you know, uh, not only fine lah, I mean fine uh, is only one thing, you know. I think there's a lot of discipline that has to be done. Okay, this is my view, uh, Mr. Bang Ong. Is it okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh... Doctor, I yes. agree fully to your explanation. Uh, just mm. that one point. I'm a Chinese. So yeah. we have less uh, so-called channels to get uh, good behavior developed. Uh, but, but for, say, Muslim, you all have prayers. Is it possible to yes, incorporate yes. into the sermon? Yes. <laughs> Has been incorporated in the sermon. Uh, we don't have that luxury. <laughs> <laughs> I got my brother here, Doctor Prof. Swami. He can also discuss. <laughs> He's more fires than me. <laughs> but it is actually. Uh, <laughs> but let me tell you lah. No, what what is in the sermon? What is in the theory? Ah, uh, not the same as what been practiced. <laughs> You know, we are we are we are living in two worlds here, Mister Bang Ong. <laughs> you know, we are we practice. Uh, you know, read Quran. You, you know, even fasting. Yeah. What more? What else can you you that, that let me tell you? What else can you do good after than just uh, during Ramadan? Correct, isn't it? But yet we just throw away things. <laughs> this is regrettable. Yeah. Thank you, Associate. What, 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 uh, mm. So the answer to that is actually the the ulama, eh? we call it the the ustaz, eh? has to play a more important role. <laughs> yeah, let me ask uh, answer my professor's uh, uh, um, question uh, to be he see he requests me to mention about the circular economy on the market. That I already mentioned about the uh, five principles. Yeah, Prof. You have to follow the religion, life, intellect, 
and then we have to also follow the what you call the posterity. Uh, this is very clearly mentioned as part of the uh, thing. Eh? And also, <clears throat> yeah, if you think about linear economy, I, I also mentioned, but this is something very new, uh, circular economy. But I, let me tell you, even some of the economists associates are not very conversant on circular economy. You know? They still think about making money, right? Uh, this is our bottom line. It's very important, Prof. This is this this is my this is my issue here. <laughs> Sustainability worldview, yeah, of course. Yeah, is there some uh, other other verbal question you would like to ask? This raise your hands. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yes, we have two now, doctor. Yeah, raise our hand, or is it? I mean, you are mean to read here. Yeah. Uh, yes, not here. I said already. Yeah. yeah. Anybody would like to ask, please? I saw two participants raise hands. Yes, we are. Sir Ibrahim, your mic on. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Ibrahim from Nigeria. Okay. Uh, students of uh, doctorate in uh, Jamia Akra University of Al Qurawiyin in Morocco. I really, okay. uh, oh, yes. I really enjoy this uh, uh, lecture, and the uh, lecturer is really uh, uh, tried. And uh, I ask Almighty Allah to reward him, and also uh, Nadi al Islami. What I want to ask is that uh, whenever we have uh, Arabic lectures, we we get uh, the Al-Mad uh, al uh, uh, it means uh, the paper, immediately while the lecturer is delivering the, the lecture. But I, I don't get the, this uh, paper now because we, we benefit from it uh, later i myself i'm preparing my uh, uh, my phd the thesis in uh, endowment and now we like to uh, benefit from this uh, uh, lecture inshallah that's what i want to ask whether we will get it later or maybe i came late to the uh, to the platform Thank you very much. Zakmullah Khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We share it in chat. And I will send it again. Thank Is the video much. made available, brother? You can share my slide. No problem. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, is there any other question? Yeah, Prof. Sami, thank you so much for your comments, sir. <laughs> Prof. Sami is my very close colleague eh, on this. Uh, he's specializing in Ta'wun. <laughs> By the way, we are running a project for your information. We call it uh, Soup Kitchen, you know. This Soup Kitchen concept is uh, helping the poor whereby it is based on the sadaka concept, okay? So we have the collect people who are willing to give us money and we use this money to get outside cook to, to donate food for our uh, orphanage, okay? For the Ashna. So, so, so far, project has been on quite well. So we're going to plan to have a, a full <coughs> Full stop shop uh, later on. Uh, yeah, cyber project like what my professor is saying. Whereby we, we feel that, you know, uh, I'm sure all of you uh, have this sympathy yeah? uh, that, you know, the, we should uh, make sure everybody has food, you know. Uh, this is uh, this is part of our duty, you know, apart from the Quran. It's also say that, you know, we should ensure that there is sufficient food. In the light of the situation of the COVID and whatnot, and there are people, even in our case, our students uh, does not have sufficient food. So we need to 
to address this yeah yeah rather bang on yeah we're looking into it very seriously to help at least our own our own, our own students they don't have enough food so pitiful to them yeah. <clears throat> okay can i help to maybe last question something like this how about the one from quit so How many brothers and sisters here from Kuwait? I think no one uh, raised their hand. Okay. It's not a matter. You can always ask me questions the next time. And uh, okay, there's no problem. You can WhatsApp you my email. I'll type my email somewhere. You can share my email later, brother. Yeah, I'm glad you, you, you learned something from this. <laughs> I think this lecture should be publicized a bit more. Eh? Even for us, uh, URA, so this is something quite new. We we'll probably have to do more more talking on this, Shaba. Okay, I'm going to put my my email here. Okay. Okay, this is my email and of course my mobile. Okay. So okay, you uh yes. You are most helpful. Uh, you are most pleased to either email or WhatsApp me, so that we can have another discussion. Uh, anytime, no problem. I send it, doctor. Okay. Okay. So is that all, brother? Yes, doctor. I think we uh, have all uh, question now. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You are giving me this <laughs> this virtual gift. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, Doctor. For uh, this presentation, uh, I think we have uh, all questions now, and uh, uh, end of the session. Okay, can we call it a day, brother? We, we just end up here. What?
Okay, brother, are you are we finished? Or what? Yes, doctor, we have finished now. Thank you so much, and uh, Dr. Abrazik, uh, to the value of timing. Uh, I think we end the session now. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next time, inshallah, we'll meet again, okay? Okay, doctor, thank you. Okay, take care, bye. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam.